Hey everybody, it's Joel. We are back. We are going to be doing a toy hunt today. And with me is Bob. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go hit the regular stores. We're going to hit the Target, the, Wa the Rosses, and the Walmart. And we're going to see what we can find. So let's hit that road. Are you ready? Yup! Alright, so our first stop is actually going to be Walmart. And Bob and I almost got ran over by some jackass. So you got to love the Walmartians. you got to love the Walmartians. It's joy of life. All right, man, here we are. We're actually in the toy aisle checking out things. Of course, first thing we're going to start noticing is missing heads on RC, because, you know, that never fucking changes. Fuck the Kugel. If I for sure, I would never do that again. Any questions? Oh, and then I freaked out because we saw a no head on, on Ratchet, so I, I almost dropped the camera. We got headless people here, you know. We have lots of headless. It, it scares me, you know. And then, of course, we find Strong Arm over there. And she's missing a head. And then there's probably another RC. So, you know, to save our sanity, we start looking at some of the other stuff. And I just wanted to see what the, the other figures might have. But it's a lot of the same stuff we've been seeing all the time. Like, I, I hardly ever see any Transformers that are new. It's one of the downsides about Walmart. They just like to filter through as much as they can of the same thing. And don't want to let things go. No, no. It's like they like to buy up a whole bunch of crap that they know no one's going to buy and then just let it sit there and then hope that for three years we still buy it at full price. <laughs> Which is just ridiculous. But looking at the turtles, I was talking with Bob about this too because like I have these turtles. Um, I was going to do reviews on them, but I've just never taken them out of the package. But I absolutely hate how this Donatello looks extra nerdy. Yeah, I think they went a little overboard with most of the characters in that one. And then we found these little die-cast uh, King Kong figures. Now, these are awesome. These are, like, surprisingly cool. King Kong and Godzilla. Yeah, from the, the new movie that's coming out. And they're all, like, five bucks a piece. I mean, they're really, really nice little uh, chibi things. So that was, that was kind of neat. And we had to figure out how much they were going to cost. That's how we ended up. We had to go ask someone to find out how much they were. But I mean, five dollars for a really cool looking Godzilla. I mean, shit, that's just a no brainer. Yeah, but there's quite a, a huge selection of turtles. If you're all hunting for or looking for, the store has it. Yeah, the store is just going to have all the turtle movie stuff. They even had the party wagon, which I think I forgot to put in the clip. Um, they do have motorcycles. And I had to go back and grab myself a, a Godzilla. So <laughs> I grabbed Godzilla. And then we went back to checking everything out. So more turtle, ninja, ninja turtle stuff. Marvel. All right. Yeah. So there's more Marvel. And a lot of the Mar same Marvel stuff that's been sitting around since spring easily. Especially in the Legends figures. Yeah, there's they nothing there. They're not getting any of the new legends out yet. Look at some of the X Men stuff. Too bad they didn't get the X Men carded stuff. I don't know if that was just Target exclusive or not, but they do have some really cool Jurassic World figures. Yeah, the new packaging is kind of pretty cool for those too. I like. I kind of want to get some so I can do some photos with some of the six inch figures. It'd be real nice watching them getting eaten. Yeah. Right. <laughs> get like Tracker and. Um couple of the other guys and just have them getting decimated by the raptors <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we were looking at this point we were looking for a triceratops because we didn't think that they were making any so we saw this triceratops trying to set up my king gray skull with a concept of a nice triceratops rider yeah we we're trying to figure out like if they made them any bigger than than that size i'm guessing those are like the deluxe size for those and we got some Batman over there. And I saw some stuffed uh, Godzilla. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, Piddling our way through the Star Wars stuff. Oh, came back because Bob wanted to show me this. Yeah, I noticed that. Pretty damn good design and detail on these action figures. Yeah, you know, that, that Black Manta is really cool looking. And so is this uh, Aquaman. Like, I was much, so very surprised. I'm not a big fan of Ocean Master, and I don't really care for Aqualad myself, but the other two, I, I could see myself picking them up if, you know, I didn't find anything else I was looking for. 
they're doing much better on their design detail. Yeah. And I think their QC is starting to get a little bit better. So kudos to McFarlane. This is Todd McFarlane. And don't make them perfect. Yes. <clears throat> and then, of course, bat nipples. Everyone's got to have bat nipples. Everyone needs bat nipples. Just like Oprah. You get bat nipples. And you get bat nipples. And you get bat nipples. Everybody gets a bat nipple. <laughs> <laughs> The Mongol, and then we just found some same old 2021 Batmans at, at full price. So it's actually a steal, man. I mean, you get those things and they're full price. Oh, and by the way, we found more, more bat nipples. More bat nipples. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's more bat nipples. There's more Lambda Spray. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're checking out some of the Star Wars stuff. And I'm just, I'm not impressed with a lot of it. I mean, there's a lot of cool, there's some cool things like the six inch figures, but nothing in the six inch figure line has been impressing me. But there's Chopper. And then, of course, we have some Andor and, you know, a couple of the Ahsoka figures. There's a fifth brother in there. Uh, fifth brother's in there for so long, he should be the 15th brother. <laughs> And then I have no idea why I was pointing at her. But it was me pointing at her. You were talking about the series that oh, was coming out. That, they right. made that run. I haven't not watched it yet. No. And then we found an actual bigger Triceratops. So it's Decent for the six-inch line, but not for the Masterverse. No, I, couldn't, it, I don't think it would work for a seven-inch, but five and a half was pretty good. And of course, nothing new. With G.I. Joe, I still have Rock and Roll, Crimson Guards. And again, if I was really into troop building right now, I'd be getting those Crimson Guards. A couple Iron Grenaders. They have the Point Dread, the Moss Man, and the same way for... And we we talked to one of the ladies there. They're, they're saying that they're going to put them on clearance soon. Oh, I'll believe it when I see it. And then, of course, there's Pig Head and Manny Faces. So... Not too bad. I think we're going to check out the collectibles next. Yeah, so here we go. They have a uh, SH Figure Arts Trunks, which I'm not, I don't really collect SH Figure Arts all that much anymore, but it's neat to see Trunks. Super Saiyan. What are you saying? Uh, I'm saying Super. <laughs> <laughs> Donald and Shredder still down there. Yeah. That Shredder looks cool. And I kind of want to pick up that four pack, even though I have those turtles. Like they're not great turtles, as far as the figures go, but they're cool because it's the IDW stuff. And then there's Aquamans. <laughs> He's talking to the fish. <laughs> I said this before, and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. <laughs> and you got Green Lantern. Like, what kind of power does Green Lantern have? It's his ring. <laughs> Just use a, I have a ring. I could be a superhero, but. No powers. No, no powers. <laughs> <laughs> and we have some Halloween and good stuff. Uh, and I was mentioning that you can find this at Ross. And then, of course, the greatest Shredder figure, or Shredder, greatest Splinter figure ever. I love that figure. And then, of course, we have Bride of Frankenstein and Goliath from the video game series. And we found a Lexington. I had to grab that on the way out. And I don't blame him because it's a good figure. I still got to do the review on him too. For so, shame. For shame. I'm so behind on video reviews, but you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Don't beat me up over the video reviews, man. Stop yelling at me, man. I got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they have the same turtle stuff, which is really just Splinter and Shredder. So, yeah. And some Bleach figures still from. Um, Oh, what was it? I forgot. They just had some bleach figures. So yeah. That was it for Walmart. We're going to go ahead and hit Target. Here we are. We're going to be going right into Target. And the first thing we're looking at is an in-cap. Yeah, we're doing an in-cap with some more, not his name, um, Aquaman figures. Not his name. I said this before and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. <laughs> Those who must not be named. The, the movie version. And a better looking Aquaman than, you know, the one from Walmart. Yeah. 
Healy's trace to make Aquaman not suck. <laughs> said it before, I say it again. Did it? Ooh. Actually, I'll probably cut that out. Now look, they pulled back out all the Masterverse figures that have been sitting around forever, and then they tried to hide them so that we thought they were all sold. And they brought them back for the low, low price of full price. And there's a trap jaw, or mouse jaw. Very nice, cool figure. Yeah, it's a really cool figure. I really like it. Oh, look, wave four again. Hey, look. More lamb spread. <laughs> 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 I wanted to see if they had any more of the foot soldiers, which is really hard. Like, I've only found two in the last year. But they did not have them. And then they they are the holy grail of figures. They really are. And then they had some of the King Kong figures. So that was pretty cool. I like seeing the King Kong figures. And I'm just staring at the turtle figures because, you know, I had nothing better to do. <laughs> There's Woody. There's Woody. <laughs> and then they got the Transformers. It's the same wave stuff. But hey, look, there's a ratchet with a head. This he time. has a head. I almost fainted. And then they have some <laughs> Rhinox. And there's Mirage and RC. And then I don't know what series that guy is from. Then we went and saw some more Aquaman stuff. And uh, was it the Justice Buster? Justice, Justice Buster. Buster. Which, I mean, that looked pretty cool. And... Ah, the back art. The back art of it. Yeah, I had to figure out where that was from. They got Red Tornado, Gold Label. So that was pretty cool. More um, Aquaman. And then, of course, they had a, a Gold Label Animal Man. So that was cool. They had like three of those there. So, and then they had Batman's. More, More Batman's. Bat <laughs> Joker, what Pokemon did you catch, Joker? I caught a little punny, Batman. I caught a little punny. No, no, Joker. No, don't do it. I'm going to do it, Batman. <laughs> and then we saw some real cool Ecto-1. There's Ecto-1. There's the Trouble Bubble, Python Patrol. Copperhead, Python Patrol. Cool. They had the frights, the fright feature Ghostbusters. I do like that they created this line with the old school original look. Yeah, I have to dig out. I have one of the red, or I have one of the vintage uh, of Egon Spangler on that. I will have to dig them out sometime. They have more Cobra Troopers, Python Patrol, and Vipra. And then look at that man. There's a there's a freaking proton wand. Proton Blaster. Yeah. And then Mutt, I had to have this. Like, holy crap. I've been looking and waiting for this character. But you'll see me grab it here in just a second. There's Bane. You were born in the darkness. <laughs> I was born in the darkness. You merely adopted it. <laughs> so, and then, of course, you got these little die-cast figures. They always look cool, but I think it would be really neat to just kill them off in a D&D &D game. Right. <laughs> I'm still a little bummed I didn't get the X-Men line that came out with, but I'm going to try to keep looking for it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And they have more MJs. So anyone looking for an MJ? Because we got like six of them right there in one Matt Murdock. Oh, and that's what you call a multiverse. And then we got Mark II Iron <laughs> Man. There's like three of them there, four of them. We had uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And he drops it. And I got to drop it like a... Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. I dropped it like third period French, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mark 46 Iron Man. Which, I mean, they look cool. Uh, there's uh, Captain America from Winter Soldier. Very fine detail on them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're neat. I know that they're just reprints of, of figures that had already come out. But still, I didn't get these. So, you know, not too bad. And then I guess we're going over to the collectibles here. So, same Batman and Robin from that McFarlane line that just don't go anywhere. But you got Mike Myers and Ash. Ha! Peary <laughs> Herman! <laughs> <laughs> With Peary. And then, uh, oh, we got Robin over there. And then the Xanatos. The, the Gargoyles. Uh, Angela's over there. There's another Lexington. Very nice. Very nice. A ton of Goliath still. A ton of Goliath. I think they overmade him. 
I, I would say so for sure. And like they reprinted them on several. So, oh wait, here we go. There's um, there's Lisa Maza, my one of my personal favorites actually from this line. So, I really like that figure. And I still got to do Xanatos review. I still need to pick Xanatos up. Not today, though. Not today. Today was not Xanatos' day. Not today, Satan! <laughs> <laughs> and while he was putting back gargoyles, I noticed a Freddy Krueger glove. Yeah, I didn't catch it on video for some... I don't know why, because I was probably putting that shit back mm -hmm. up. You're picking up my mess. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's some of the IDW turtles. And there's there's Ong. I hate people who say Ong. If you say Ong, I just, I'm not your friend. It's either Ang or nothing. Ong. Shut up. <laughs> you leave. In fact, you leave now, sir. <laughs> Fare thee well. Fare thee well. <laughs> That's how I'm going to start the next part, too. <laughs> um, there's Zarek. Again, I'm threatening to buy this figure, but I don't know when. He's a real cool looking act uh, figure. Yeah, he is. He really is. There's the ETs and some other NECA stuff. And there's Al, and there's uh, Erlen, not the mama. Not the mama! <laughs> <laughs> so, and what else did they have? Oh, they had that Joker up, up there. We'll see him here in a second. There's Grandfather uh, from the Munsters. Yep, and Bob Ross. Everyone needs a Bob Ross yeah. in their life. Yeah, just need a little happy Bob. Just put a little tree there, wherever you want. A little happy figure. A little happy figure. And there we go. That's it. All right. Last stop. Here we are. We are at Ross's. And I kicked Bob's ass out of here because he said Ong. I'm just kidding, of course. I didn't actually kick him out, but he had to go do some stuff. And so we were looking at some of the anime figures here. They seem to be getting a lot more of these little anime statues or these cheaper anime statues. And then we go over here and they got the Gundam figures in, which I'm actually really excited uh, surprised by and i cannot put him back on the hook like like a fool actually really wasn't looking when i was doing that um but it's nice to see because i heard that the gundam figures were coming there's a master master gundam from g gundam and i almost picked him up i thought oh man this is pretty cool but he's still like 12 bucks but for master gundam it was almost really worth it I'm still hoping to see more G.I. Joe other than just kind of the same old, same old. But they have Blue Marvel there, Darwin, Vulcan. Uh, I found the, the, the um, Mage from the Dungeons & Dragons series line, which Bob picked up, which was pretty cool. And he found the, I guess that's, we were trying to decide if that's the Adventurer or the Rogue. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. And then there's uh, Bieselmon over there from Digimon. The same Transformers as always. So I wanted to go back and look at Bieselmon again. Uh, Bielzemon. Bielzemon. I don't know why I said Bieselmon. Yeah, I don't know what we're looking at. This caught my eye and I thought it was really interesting. Tyrannosaurus Rex and Velociraptor fight from Jurassic Park. That was really cool, but I've just since I don't collect pops... And I have no idea who this was. I thought this was actually Might, or whatever his name is from that anime. Uh, but we found some more Gundam. So we had the Freedom Gundam. Um, what else did they have over there? They had Freedom Gundam. There's Baroness. There's Tomax and Zaymont. There's Barbecue and Blue. Which is cool. Like I said, you know, I probably would have picked him up if I didn't already have him. I might pick a second one up. I don't know. They got some X shots. My kids would absolutely go crazy over that. And then here's the extra Gundam. So they had a Shinlong Gundam, which I thought was cool. I mean, I would almost go over there and pick these up just because of how cool they look. So there's a lot of Shinlong. Then there's RX-48, which is your basic Gundam. And I just, you know, the other ones are so much cooler looking. And I know there's a fan base for the for the regular Gundam, but it's just, I, I like a little bit of flair. Not 37 pieces of flair, but flair. And then there's that same 
snake attack mountain thing from that He-Man series that's 20 bucks. I mean, if it came down, maybe, but uh, uh, I just don't like that He-Man line. And of course, the same X-Men. Um, some Witcher figures, or it's just two Witcher figures, and it's the same woman. So, I don't know. I found some more Gundam. So, it looked like basic Gundams, and then Freedom Gundam, and RX-47, then Freedom Gundam again. Uh, and then I found some more Master Gundams. So, that was pretty cool. It was Gundam Easy 8 Those were the, I guess, the base ones there. I think that was actually the last set of Gundams we found in the entire in the entire thing. We went back and looked, found a Creature of the Black Lagoon, and we found Frankenstein from the NECA line. Uh, so that was actually kind of cool, because Frankenstein was the first time I saw him there. And we just kind of go back. Uh, Crocmaster. The AEW entrance ring, or like the entrance ramps. So that was pretty cool. I think those things actually go for like 30 bucks, and they were selling them for 8 and then a bunch of the, the twins, Tomax and Zaymont. I just nothing else other than that. I, I wish I could see some more G.I. Joe figures there. And not just those, you know. Um, but yeah, Bob and I went back and looked at barbecue again. And there was only like three of them. Uh, but Bob had picked up the rest of the Dungeons and Dragons figure line. He had had the, the Barbarian girl, Holga, so you got the rest of them to complete the, the series. And I was talking about this rival. I said, man, I gotta buy this rival just so I can shoot the gun at my kids, because my youngest kid likes to shoot his nerf darts at everybody. But that was kind of... I mean, at this point, we were just kind of like looking at what was left, and there really wasn't all that much. There's a Darth Vader lightsaber, and that was kind of the end of everything in the store, everything else ended up coming down to being just more uh, of younger kids, kind of the, like play school. There was a transformer for Shockwave, uh, but everything else is just this play school stuff for kids. So we decided it was about time to go out, and there really wasn't anything at the registers. So that was kind of our run in Ross. All right, so that was a that was a fun run. We got to see a lot of cool things. We found a bunch of stuff. I myself, I picked up uh, Junkyard and Hound, so I'm excited about that review coming soon. And Bob got a couple of really cool things too, so we're excited. We we feel we feel good about collecting today. Very much so. Very much so. <laughs> so you guys, I want to thank you for joining us, and remember, keep those figures posing and keep those collections growing. We'll see you on the next toy hunt.